Big Spell Mage was a big flop, but it recently got a big buff to make its biggest spell even bigger. Tsunami used to be 8 mana to summon 3 water elementals, but now it's 10 mana to summon 4 water elementals. Of course, 10 mana is more than 8 mana, but we don't really care about that because we're casting it for free with Surfalopod, which makes our next spell drawn cast when drawn, or we're just paying 5 mana for it after we play King Tide. And hey, if we draw it from Under the Sea, which draws a spell from our deck and then summons a random minion of cost equal to that spell's cost, then it's actually better that it costs 10 mana instead of 8. Two, three. I don't know if Mixologist is really a keep. Try to find my big spell stuff. I did just play against a Death Knight, but it was a triple blood deck, and I don't expect that to be what I'm up against again. That's a pretty uncommon build. Well, got another Mixologist. Probably overplan next turn, though. Uh, Watercolor Artist is a pretty sick card. I don't know, is Watercolor Artist... It's probably the third card that I draw, right? Which makes it a lot worse. Go Audio Splitter. Pick up an Under the Sea. And a Surfalopod. So I think I'm drawing... Surfalopod into Under the Sea into Watercolor, or, uh, I picked another Audio Splitter, not Watercolor Artist, right? Oh, I was wrong about the order. Okay, that's really bad. Uh, actually, this draw card is good, because I'm not going to have Surfalopod next turn if I don't play it. And then whatever buff. Right, so this should give me under the sea. And then I top deck Surfalopod on five. Okay. Oh, and we got a sick 10 and a sick 9. Holy shit. Oh my god, I would be furious. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't have any damage in my hand other than Cadgar, but Cadgar is kind of damage. This is a lot of locations. Oh man. Well, it doesn't get much better than that. Jaina versus Jaina. Big spell mirror? Or are you a coward?
one, two, three. None of my synergy stuff, but I think these cards are both good. Easy, easy gold painter. Although the Primordial Glyph I was offered is pretty good with Rayla. Oh, it's Elemental Mage. Don't they know Lamplighter got nerfed? I think this is Gorgon Zormu into Watercolor Artist. Not sure what turn 5 is. Oh, interesting. I was gonna say turn 6 is Rayla plus Cheese, but Under the Sea might change that. Or it might not. I feel like a bunch of small stuff might be better than a big thing in this matchup. We're deviating. King Tide is just truly a ridiculous card in this deck. Is it the highest mulligan win rate card? Okay, well, I guess King Tide is kind of dog shit when they all go face for no reason. No, it's actually still good here. King Tide does appear to be the highest drawn win rate. And that makes sense, because it's really good. And there's a stupid little gnat landing on my computer screen, but I can't reach it. Well, I can, but I don't want to squash it with my finger. Uh, I have 13 damage in play. Their board is so scary. I feel like I have to trade. A taunt. Rare cover artist in play. And they can take seven power off my board, but that's not good enough. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you are dead. The Tsunami tried its hardest to lose the game by all going face, but it was simply too powerful to do so. Getting real sick of druids. Got a couple of good cards here, though. Stereo totem, you say? Probably just Rolling Stone. Maybe even just play it next turn. Like, Gold Painter's good, but I've got a couple of Grill Masters. Wow. That's definitely a Reno deck, right? I need a vacation from my vacation. I have two Grill Masters, so I probably don't really want to draw a Sunset Volley. And I already have a Mixologist, so I guess I take a Sleet Skater. Cadgar is sick. The Surfalopod is hitting my hand on turn 6. I think I still like it. 
Grillmaster could definitely be sticking around until then. I'm drawing Cadgar next turn, right? So I guess the dream is Grillmaster just sticks around for a bit. I coin Cadgar and then turn six is Cephalopod trade this off. Jesus Christ, that's big. There are a couple freezes, there's taunts, and then there's fireball. They left it in play. You fool. Start with this, I guess. Just because I can. Uh, I guess it's trapdoor spider. Another fireball. Now it's Frostbolt. Alright, I mean, this turn was still really good for me. Alright, pretty low tempo turn from the opponent. But it's not like I have much of a way to punish that. Alright, well, Audio Splitter copies something now. Am I getting Renoed? Okay, not Reno, but still powerful. Okay, I think it was actually somewhat unlikely that I would get my board cleared there, but I did. Probably just gonna freeze that guy. Deal three damage is nice. Two to all. Sure. Nine cards in hand. I could play this plus Grillmaster. Maybe it's kind of nice to pick up. Well, the 50-50 where I hit Audio Splitter is pretty good, and then Sunset Volley. Works against me. Audio Splitter was definitely better there. And Ice Barrier was butts. Whoa, let's go Ice Barrier. Uh, Gorgon Zormu is definitely cool. But speaking of cool, I think I'm just going to freeze the opponent by hitting them with four water elementals. No, this was the turn for Fireball. Tsunami v. Tsunami. Wow, that was really unlucky for them. I mean, maybe not really unlucky. If that shot said hit the taunts or my face, they still would have been dead. 
Alright, get Outwater Elemental, you buffoon. Combo? I think it makes sense to keep this combo. Uh, I think I just play Gold Panner next turn. I was definitely thinking about coining Gorgon Zormu, but I think the Gold Panner is fine. A little late Scarab. I think I probably play Gorgon Zormu over Mixologist next turn. Just gotta get that cheese aging. Does Hematurge imply Rainbow, or is this maybe a Blood Death Knight? Not sure why anyone would be playing Blood Death Knight, but maybe. Alright, well, Under the Sea is guaranteed to hit Tsunami now. Since I drew both Sunset Volleys, that's probably a good thing. Oh. Well, no Galactic Projection Orb. So, I can coin Surfalopod here. It does not let me play the Under the Sea Tsunami any sooner. But maybe it's just good tempo. It is a 5-6, and then next turn I could play Cheese for 3, maybe? I don't know if I really want to do that. Could try to find a potion to protect my 4-2 from this 2-2. And then if I whiff, I can just play Scarab Keychain. I wonder. Would I play the potion, though? Like, what would be good? 3 damage plus draw a card. This does seem like a Blood Death Knight, by the way. I'm just going to play the big-ass minion. Sometimes I just top deck Tsunami also. Or I could draw a Watercolor Artist, which is also kind of drawing a Tsunami. That is randomly generated, so I don't think it tells me much. Alchemist. What to do? I'll just take a wand maker, I think. You don't take the wands. Okay, nice flexible card. A little bit of burn. Bad draw. Oh, I got a 12-12. Still a bad draw, but could have been worse for sure. Um, I guess I simply play Cadgar here. Boom, got him. Picked up Rayla, which is actually good with this Jaina's gift I randomly generated. Get two spells off this, so two dudes off this. Or not. We're leaving up Rayla, huh? Well... If you're going to leave up Rayla, I'm going to try to play some spells with Rayla. Probably don't want to damage my own board.
That was the worst possible draw in my deck, because now Under the Sea doesn't do anything. Kill that since it can pop bubbles. Six cost minions, sure, why not? Well, this one is interesting, but I don't have a way to deal the final two damage. Um, I think I really want to play Audio Splitter here, because it kind of seems like I'm spending all my mana on spells the next several turns. So if I want this card to go off ever, probably need to play it here. I guess I should have bumped into that, because Fireball, Frostbolt, Blizzard, maybe Arcane Missiles all could have killed it. Sure. Alright, I think these next probably five turns are all going to be very straightforward for me. I think I do just play Tsunami here. I mean, if a Water Elemental runs into that and freezes it, then it can't use its abilities anyway, so it's kind of decent anyway. So I can just play this alongside a Tsunami, right? Can even play this along with it, I guess. Brewmaster, does that do anything? I don't think so. The perfect spread. Oh, and I can actually play a Tsunami and a Sunset Volley next turn, huh? Did this just give me a freaking Ice Barrier? Oh no, it gave me Counterspell, okay. Counterspell is much, much better. Uh, they can't play that here. My board is very scary. Oh, you're... you've got to be dead here. Well, I guess not, because... Like, I can play Tsunami, but I don't have board space for it. So I have 15 damage... I mean, I guess I just trade some stuff off and play Tsunami, right? We got another Tsunami. It's not guaranteed lethal. So let's go Sunset Volley. And Sunset Volley was lethal. My last Priest opponent was Overheal. They, uh... They played an Injured Hauler on turn 3, and it lived for like 12 turns, and I lost the game, because I could never stick anything to the board. And my dumbass Cadgar would never kill it. Pretty good hand here. I just need over planner to hit with the surfalopod. Oh, 
Let's get this cheese going. Extremely mediocre. Uh, I'm drawing the Tsunami on turn 5, which is not a great turn to draw it. I think I'd take an Audio Splitter. That was a really bad overplanner. Seems like this is probably just Control Priest, maybe Reno Priest. Steel armor. Gotta just be a surfalopod, right? Best outcome for me. Wow. Definitely got some bad options here if you're targeting over a planner with that. Crossbolt face would be pretty good here. Beautiful. Balanced card. Alright, froze both targets. Can we get a fireball face? Let's fucking go. Let's go, Cadgar. He was smart for one game. <laughs> 